It's a pillow. It's a bed. It's a pillow bed. Oh, it's a rock. Hello. I am going to be teaching you about wireless split cement. So we have this graduated cylinder here, and then this rock that we are going to be finding how much space it takes up. Yeah. <laughs> um. So basically, we have this graduated cylinder, and it can hold up to a thousand milliliters right there, but the precision is 10, and basically the precision is how much it goes up by every line. So right here is like 500, then it goes 510, then 520, and you kind of get the gist. Um, so to figure out how much space the rock takes place, you're going to just fill the graduated cylinder up as, like, it doesn't really matter how much you fill it up. I filled it up just a, like, third of the way. I don't know. So you're going to look at it at eye level, and when you do, you're going to see the level of the water. And so basically 300, 310, 320, 330, 340, 350, 360 milliliters is the space that, my, that the water is taking up right now. So once you know that it's 360, I mean yours might be different when you do because you might fill it up. Um, higher or lower, but um, then you're going to tilt this to the side so that no water falls out, and then you're going to place the object in. And once you place the object in, as you can see, the water level got higher, so that means that the rock took up some space. So we are now going to look at this eye level and see how much this went up by. So it was at 360 and now it's at um, 370, 380, and it's about 385. So then to find how many milliliters this rock takes up, um, you're gonna have to uh, you're gonna subtract what the water level is now to what it was. So where this is 385, you're gonna take 385 minus 360, which is the previous water level before I put the rock in. So 385 minus 360 is about 25. It is 25. I don't know why I said about. <laughs> but um, it's about, it's 25 milliliters. So that means this rock right here is 25 milliliters. Your hand is wet. 